Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you no-bake desserts for the summertime. All right, before I jump into anything, I want to introduce you to Mallory. Now Mallory has been working for me behind the scenes for a long time, but we're gonna change things up a little bit. Mallory's gonna help me like cook some recipes with you and she always has great little comments, so just <laughs> listen for those. So today we're making our no-bake desserts. No-bake desserts. This is one of them, guys. Trust me, you're gonna wanna stay to watch this, am I right? So good. So good. All right, if you're ready, let's just jump right into it. Our Nutella no-bake cookies. Now you might have had our original no-bake cookies, but Nutella is a game changer. All right, we're first gonna start with a stick or a half cup of butter into a hot pan, and then you're gonna add just a half cup of milk, and we're gonna melt this together. Okay, so now this is kind of melted, so we're gonna add one and three-fourths cup of sugar. And again, just eyeball. There's one thing I don't eyeball, and it's cocoa, so we're gonna add four tablespoons of cocoa. All right, then we're just going to mix this all together and bring it to a boil. Okay, if you guys can see the boiling and the bubbles, it's my favorite part. We're just gonna go ahead and take this off and set it to the side. Okay, so then we're gonna add about two teaspoons of vanilla and then a half cup of Nutella because of course, Nutella, we need some. Now this is not on the stove top, it's still really hot, so just keep mixing and your Nutella will dissolve and it will mix all together very nicely. Okay, then you're gonna add three cups of old-fashioned oats and mix that all together. Okay, once it's all mixed and combined, I love using a cookie scoop just because I can touch it while it's really hot, it doesn't even matter, and then I'll just scoop it right onto the foil. All right, it looks good. Okay, taste test. Mm. I know I rank a lot of fives, but these are a five. I love them. <laughs> and ignore the child in the background. So the next recipe I'm making is called Funfetti Cake Batter Buddies. Now we loved Muddy Buddies growing up. This is actually the treat my mom would make when we'd go to the drive-in movies. It was one of my favorite things because I knew she always had it, but this one is I feel even better than your original because it's cake batter and you all know I love my cake. So we have six squares of this almond bark. This is the white chocolate almond bark. It tastes the best with this. And then I just have one teaspoon of vegetable shortening. We're gonna put that in there just because it makes it a little more liquidy of chocolate. Okay, let's microwave this and melt it all the way. All right, so I microwaved about a minute. We're just going to mix this around just a little bit. We're gonna go another minute. All right, we're almost ready. There's a few chunks. I'm just gonna keep stirring and they will melt. All right, so I'm using rice chicks. You can use corn chicks too if you want to, but I like rice chicks the best. So we just need five cups of this. Then you're just gonna mix this all together because you want the chocolate to coat all of the rice chicks. Okay, so I grabbed a little helper. She came home from school. This is one of my kids' favorite. So if you want to put that over and I'll, I'll dump this in. So this is Funfetti Cake Mix. We're gonna add about a cup and a half, so. All right, one, throw that in. And a half eyeball, you know. And then we have about a half cup of powdered sugar. This, I had a little help opening this, so it's kind of wild. There we go, you wanna dump that in too? Now you wanna do this while the chocolate's hot, so all the cake batter and powdered sugar will get stuck to the chocolate, right? What, do, what are we missing with this? Sprinkles. So we like to add sprinkles to it just because it's cake batter and it makes it more fun. So we're gonna add a little bit of sprinkles. Now I didn't have all in one, so we have a giant container. So I just opened up all of them and you can just do a few shakes and. You know, we might get a few more colors than what we wanted. All right, you ready? Yeah. There we go, stop. <laughs> yes, it'll be more like purple bluish. I like it. Now, you don't have to do the sprinkles, but we just like it to make it more colorful. All right, I think we're ready and done. What do you think? Wanna give it a taste? Taste test. What do you feel? I like it. I like it too. <laughs> 
Okay, for this recipe, you're gonna need 16 ounces of Cool Whip or whipped cream, and this is the big container. Then you'll need two packages of instant banana cream pudding, three bananas, try not to get them as green. This is like perfect. Four cups of milk, and then you'll need 14 graham crackers. First, you're gonna measure four cups of milk into a big measuring glass cup thing. <laughs> <laughs> then you're just gonna dump your two packages of banana pudding into your milk. Then just go ahead and whisk it all together. Okay, so when it's all done, you're gonna take it, put it in the fridge for just a few minutes. We want it to thicken up just a little bit. Okay, while that's setting up, we are going to put our graham crackers into the bottom of our nine by 13 pan. Okay, now that this is done, pudding is done, so we're gonna put half of it in the bottom on top of the graham crackers. Okay, so now we're gonna take half the Cool Whip and go ahead and put it on. Now, here's the tricky part. You don't wanna mess up your pudding, so you wanna carefully put on the Cool Whip. Next, you're just gonna cut one and a half bananas into little slices, and we're gonna put them all over the cake. Then you just line them up. They don't have to be pretty, just, you just need bananas in it. All right, as we're putting this on, I realized we do need all three bananas on this level. So we're gonna cut the rest of the one and a half bananas and put them in and just make it a good solid banana layer. Now we just get to do the same thing over again. So we're gonna start with our graham crackers. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll okay. start with you. I'll Sounds start over good. by you. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We wanna try and put them together mm -hmm. as much as possible. Now, as my pan goes out just a little bit so you can see, there's a little bit of room here. So we're just gonna try and squeeze in as much graham crackers as we can. It's okay if they overlap just a little bit. And there we go. So we'll just put squares on in there. Totally. You can even go on this side. See how there's mm -hmm. room we can fit like littles in there. Awesome, okay, now on to the pudding. So we're actually just gonna add the rest of the pudding onto the graham crackers, and I'm gonna kind of hold them still while you put them on, because it, it gets hard sometimes when you're trying to spread, and it's like you're spreading all the graham crackers too. It doesn't work very well. Sometimes, sometimes. Okay, then the last layer is the Cool Whip. Just wanna show you the layers really fast. That's like one of my favorite parts. So the banana cream pie cake is all done. You can see all the layers there, all set up. Now it's time for the taste test. Yes. You ready? Ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can just, just dive in. Oh we're, we're not even gonna cut. We're not okay. even gonna cut. Okay, we're just let's gonna do go. It. Ready for it? Ready. Okay, ready. Should we, we get go. some graham cracker? Yeah, I know, it's clear. It is clear down there. Ready? Mmm. Mm-hmm. That is good. That is so good. So good. Love banana cream. I know, the pudding. I agree. All right. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, <laughs> there we go. So good. Yes, I agree, I agree. All right, let's move on to the next one. For this recipe, you will need 14 ounces of angel food cake, some almond extract, some lemon juice, about a fourth a cup, you need a fourth cup of water, a fourth cup of just your plain regular white sugar, two cups of heavy whipping cream, two packages of cream cheese, then four cups of blueberries, and four cups of strawberries. In a saucepan, we're gonna add one fourth cup of water. <laughs> one fourth cup of sugar. I do know my stuff. Sugar. One fourth cup of water. Ooh. And then you can squeeze fresh lemon juice, but I'm a little lazy, so we're just gonna use this lemon juice. We're gonna do a fourth cup and then put it in here too. And our lemon juice. Whisk this all together, make sure that sugar is dissolved. So now we're gonna move it off the heat now that the sugar is dissolved. Then we're just gonna add a fourth teaspoon of, oh, that's way too much. That's all right, we're gonna just make it work. Almond extract, that's what we're adding. Okay, I already added a fourth, so I'm just gonna take this away. Okay, after our little mishap of the almond, it's just, it's okay, it's gonna sit here. And we're gonna cut this up and we'll brush on whatever is in the pot. All right, then after you brush it, just cut it into fourths, and we're just gonna put it right back into here so we can make our tricep. Okay, I'm gonna start with my two blocks of cream cheese in my bowl, and then I'm just gonna add two thirds of sugar. We're gonna mix this all together very first. Then you're gonna add the two cups of whipping cream. This is gonna be nice and creamy and good. 
We're almost ready with everything. We have the yummy cream. This is some thick stuff. We have our glazed angel food cake. Our blueberries, you don't really need to prep those. They're ready to go. And then we're just cutting up the strawberries. Mm, I'm excited. I just wanna show you really fast. This is my strawberry slicer. So you just cut off the green and then you put it in that little thing and it just slices. It's my favorite. Okay, so we're gonna start out with my trifle or truffle bowl. I like to call it a trifle. If you don't have one of these, you can easily use just a glass bowl. It will work just as good. Okay, you're gonna take half of the angel food cake and put it on the bottom of your trifle bowl. Pat that down just a little bit. Now it's time for blueberries. Okay, the secret on making trifles really good is that you wanna get the edges first. So that way you can see the layers because if you don't do the edges first, sometimes they just get all into the middle. So edges is the secret. Then you're just gonna add the rest of the blueberries. So we're adding two cups of blueberries right now. Then it's the cream sauce. Oh, it smells so good. And again, you're gonna put half of it in and you wanna work on the outside. So as you spread, make sure that you get the outsides so you can see the layers. Okay, next one, you're just gonna add two cups of strawberries. You can also do it fancy if you have cute slices and then layer them like that. So layer them up, but we're not that fancy today. We're just trying to hurry. <laughs> strawberries are on. Now we're gonna add some cake. Guys, this is gonna be full. We're gonna have to like press this down a little bit, but that's okay, it will be good. We might cut back on the fruit that we're gonna put in just cause it is loaded. Okay, put our blueberries on. Spread these all around. Now the pudding layer. Oh, it's getting full, it's getting full. I like it. Sometimes the blueberries come up as you spread. Just try and spread very gently and then you want, they'll, they'll go back into place. Now it's time for the strawberries. And you can make this fancy on top if you want to, but my kids are just gonna down it. So we're just gonna add all the strawberries on top. It's gonna, it's full. It is very full, but I feel like it looks better that way, being full and mm, good. All right, this one. <laughs> I think I'm most excited for it. Me too. <laughs> it's gonna be good. It is, okay. You just have to make sure you get the blueberries yeah. and stuff too. Ready? Ready. Oh dear. Strawberry, blueberry, cake, and pudding. All in one bite. That's a good bite. Right. Mine might be a little too big. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's okay. It's fine, putting cake back on. Yep. Okay, here we go. Ready? Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good. That is really good. All of those things, right? I wasn't sure if we'd be able to taste like the I know. brush on the angel food cake, but but you can actually kind of taste, can that taste it bit. just a little bit. Yeah, it's yeah. good. And so look, my fingers. It's fine. It's that good. Mm -hmm. All right, ranking. What do you think? I mean, I would give it a ten. I yeah. would give it a ten too. Ten out of ten. Pretty yes. good. These no big desserts. You've got to try fast. Them. Yep. And this is gonna feed a ton of people. Yeah. Forever. <laughs> All right, guys, if you want more no-bake desserts, I have a lot of them for you. You can check them out right over there. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.